What's up? Hey, everybody. And in today's video, we, we are going to be teaching you guys how to do a round off. So, without further ado, let's, let's get, get on. on. So to do a round off, first you have to learn how to do a cartwheel, and to do a cartwheel is just like this, and just um, and doing a round off is like this. And once you start doing a round off, try to practice doing this, or like like these. Because that will help you learn how to learn do how to do a cartwheel and stretches and stuff. It will be in the description below. Do a round off. Try once you. It's like technically doing a cartwheel. Once you hit the ground, try to put your feet together, not apart, because that's what I have troubles with. And I try try not to bend your legs so much. Once you're like. Your feet are together like jump up and like it will give you more balance and structure over your body and how you do it like a cartwheel handstand and then drop down that's what technically it is so you do a cartwheel you do a handstand and then you drop down with two feet while you're doing a handstand put your feet together so once you come down your feet will be together that's a way that it can actually help you, like this. So, put your feet together. I'm better doing it at once I start running because it gives me more power and like my energy starts building up and then I can start doing it like this. So you can either do it like that or like you do this, put your feet together and then drop down. Like that. Doing a round off is kind of the same as doing this. So you do this, hands up, like that. That's the same as like, but you do it this side, not this side, and more faster. Like this, do this, but don't like, I kind of arched in. That's like one of my big problems, but like, I need to start to work on that more, but I like, don't try to arch like what I did and do this and then pop up. But like, just try to stand up and like, do this. From a cartwheel to a round off hand placement is... Cartwheel, your hands are straight. In a round off, your hands are a little slightly crooked that you should be doing. In a cartwheel, your hands are slightly straight like this. Now round off, your hands are kind of cricket-ish, like this. Why I do this and this, or like some um, gymnastics, because it tells me when like I'm finished or when I'm about to start. Like if I'm about to start, sometimes I will do this. And when I finish, I will do this. It just looks really weird, but that's what I like when I start to start it and when I finish. It's like kind of a dance move-ish. To do a round off, start off kind of like a cartwheel, like this. Go cricket a little bit. Not straightly straight with your hands up straight, but cricket a little bit and point your toes. So once you point your toes like this, you can come back down landing with your feet like that like watch so if you point your toes which straight up like a handstand you'll come down with two feet and if you push your legs together in like a handstand like you do like this do this and you'll come down in the same position and once you got get your um like um handstands or cartwheels or mostly round offs this what this is what you will be able to do
and some other things. Alright, so this is the end of almost fell. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys. Um wait, did I upload something? I will see you guys on Tuesday or if I upload a vlog, I'll see you guys then. Peace out.